What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Next Win Podcast with your host, Aunt Ma. Co-host, Justin Vasseur. And semi-permanent, William Wynn. Guest. I like how it changes on every episode, every <laughs> intro we do. I like to change it up. <laughs> All right. So in the in these past episodes, we've been talking a lot about celebrities living here in Vegas. You know, what are the benefits of them coming here? And now we have businesses moving here, right? We got uh, big studios who just signed to move to Summerlin. We're mm. talking about Disney Studios. Whoa. And what is the other one? Oh, I'm not sure. Let me see. Um, Sony? Sony. Sony. Oh. So we're getting Damn. some uh, some Spider-Mans being made in Summerlin. Can nice. you imagine this fool's at like Red Rock and the Green Goblin Spider-Man. comes out and you're like, oh shit, that's where I took my dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, like uh, I think Mark Wahlberg wanted to turn Las Vegas into what? Uh, Hollywood, Hollywood 2.0? Uh, yes. I, I can see that. That's crazy. They have, they have, you, guys, they have, you guys have so much land out here. They can... Build a whole, build a whole big studio and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not that bad. Yeah, I think the reason they're doing it is because I was reading about a bill that they just passed, something about a huge tax break if these film industries started uh, moving over here. That'd so be cool. that makes you, sense. You make this property value like you go. You need to buy now because <laughs> property value is going to shoot up and all that. I mean, it's more workers going to come in. They're going to need housing, dude. Hey, so I have a question then, guys. Um, if all these celebrities are moving here and these studios are moving here and now they start making movies, shouldn't we be buying rentals and yeah, renting out to these celebrities? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we can afford those properties. No, no, no. Right. I'm not talking about million like- dollar townhouse? Yeah. I'm not talking about- Well, the, the people like Mark Wahlberg, if they were shooting a movie here for six months, they're, they're just going to buy it. Yeah. But I'm talking about, you know, your D- supporting DC. actors. Yeah. Right, like if 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 uh, Batch King Batch decided he got a role in one of the movies, right? Like let's we can rent it to him, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Something like that. What do we do in the meantime, though? Um, Airbnb to someone else. We should be Airbnb, dude. Out here in Vegas, it's hard. Yeah, though. that's that's dying. We gotta figure something out. It is dying. We're gonna figure out the next win for us too. Um, it's just gonna be called uh. A list B and B. Yeah, <laughs> we should just make a, a whole community where it's Airbnb. Yeah, and no complaints, dude. That means we just got built from the like, ground. Yeah, it's like it's not. You can't buy it as a primary residency. It's a rental. It's just we get a bunch of investors, and then they're they're all rentals. Isn't that what people do right now? No, but like like a private community just for like a rental. Oh, yeah. like a, like how people do sub twos. What's what that? Mean? uh creative financing sub twos pay more b you know how people are like um you know i'm not going to sell my home but you can take my home if you give me 100k down payment i know the rates are seven percent i'll give it to you at five percent because my rates at two percent and you pay me for the next five years you can have the 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 note to my house no, no. i think, I think we've been like, like like literally literally buying a piece of land building a community and just all bare Airbnbs. Like, you know, yeah, you know how there's apartments. Oh, natural community. Yeah, yeah like, like, like you know oh, how there's... So, 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 so there won't be complaints, you know? Like, oh, I, everyone's I there is renting. I thought you yeah. were talking about like social Airbnb. media communities, no, no. not physical communities. Physical communities. No, yeah, physical communities. A physical Airbnb community. Yeah, yeah. So it's... Yeah, or rent, a dope. rental community. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, uh, you're not eating up the, the housing market. Yeah, you know, so you're building it like saying, hey, guys, don't worry. We're building rentals here. They're not for you guys. You guys can do your own thing. Still. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. It's just like an apartment complex, but now they're homes. Yeah. It's That's kind of pretty tight. Temporary workers are like shooting movies or whatever. Or here for a few months, you know? Mm. That's, yeah. That's pretty tight. But how do you feel about everybody moving here like that? Like all the businesses? You feel good about it? Um, I like it because, you know, I drive around like Henderson area and you see a lot of famous companies that you used to buy things from and they're out here like uh who did i see oh what is it called uh potty something you know when you take a squatter yes they're out here oh you know you see that big building i also see uh warby parker yes i see that company i've noticed Uh, like a lot of stuff i buy and get shipped it says ship from vegas oh yeah you know who else is out here ghost what's ghost the energy drink? drink oh oh cool yeah they're out here too fanatics Fanatics is where everyone goes to buy jerseys. They're here, here uh, Yep, they're oh, wow. they're in Vegas. Yeah, you'll see the big name on the building. UFC is here. Yeah, um, I've seen that. 
you know, it's weird that all these big companies are moving over here for tax breaks. And I think it's also a nice central hub for them to ship stuff out in yeah, terms I think of it's, fulfillment. It's, it's close enough to LA. That yep. can, that so made, shipping is made, cheap. Cheap. They, they, they can drive people and people can drive back to work. Yeah. You know? It's so many, it's just convenient. Yeah. Um, I think there's something special about Las Vegas that people don't want to lose though. Like it's that? such a, it's like a tight knit community kind of thing where everything feels so close, but like imagine it turning into like LA. Yeah. Yeah. Like there should the, be some sort of rule like for nature, right? Because everyone still the loves the here. mountains. Love the they love the dirt. Yeah. They love the desert. It's still a desert. Yeah. So they got to keep it like that. They got to preserve it. Like some zones you cannot touch. Yeah. We I can't, think there is something like that. That's what they have here in, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, so there's certain areas, and I, I like. How, what do you think? Like, right, there's, uh, what's the area north, like towards north south, right? North east. Mount Charleston. Where, where uh, since, uh, yeah, I think around that Mount Charleston, like they, they stopped building, right? Right. Northwest. Northwest. I mean, they're still building, and it looks like this. It just ends. Because oh, I have I a friend that lives out there, and just, you just drive on, and it just ends. They haven't yeah. gotten to more building over oh, there okay, yet, but that's it. getting there. They're gonna build there. Yeah. Okay. Um. How come the porn industry hasn't moved here yet? Don't they have like like big conferences every year, right? Every, yeah. Everybody has conferences here. Okay, everybody, yeah, exactly, right? Everybody, everybody has a conference, right? And then they had that law a few years ago where you can't do porn videos in California unless you're wearing a condom, mm -hmm. right? So it's like, how come they don't just do everything in Vegas? Mm. We don't have yeah, that in Vegas? Know. Maybe the mob didn't allow it. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's stuff going on, but... Yeah, like it's not really talked big. about independent mm -hmm. stuff, but there's no like industry here. Yeah, because you know, right? in, like, in LA Cali is uh, the valley. Yeah, in LA, when you drive like to Universal Studios, you'll before you get there, you see a building off the freeway and it says like Vivid. You know, mm. Vivid is like you know the mm -hmm. big porn companies. Interesting. Yeah, the valley. But you don't have that porn. here. But like everyone that comes to Vegas on vacation, they're like, let's go to the strip clubs. Yeah, right. So I'm mm -hmm. just like, strip I don't, I don't get here. it. It's Sin City. Why don't they have the sins? Mm. Yeah, yeah. I just think about maybe that. it's more because it's becoming more of a city city now. Yeah. Do you, do you think it's going to be like annoying, like with all the traffic? And yeah, that, that, that's, that's going to suck, though. That, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. Suck. Like, there's something special about Vegas where it's like even now people are complaining. They're like, "Oh man, we have all these people coming in and blah blah." It's it wasn't so crazy. And to me, it's not that bad. It yeah, especially not. coming from LA and all that. Yeah. It's just like, dude, you guys have it good. Yeah, it's easy. Yeah. But now with everybody coming in and putting in all these like businesses and blah, 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 like. It sounds like um like the only traffic we have here in Vegas right now is just on the strip. Yep. Right? Just like when you go to any downtown. Right, um, that, that stretch or the stretch of freeway yeah. that, that goes through the strip. But I feel like if they're going to build studios on the outskirts of Summerlin, um, hopefully they build some highways behind it. And they build some highways back there, you know, that might help. To clear up the traffic yeah. over here. But traffic from going from Vegas to LA is horrible, man. If there's an accident, you're screwed for That's like six I, hours. That's why when I come, when I drive, I plan, I either leave super early. I, I, I tell my wife this, because she goes, why do you leave so late? Because I'm avoiding traffic. Like, every, I choose a time to leave and usually avoids it. Like, prime time, like, week. I why I come on weekends. There's times where I get here in like three and a half hours. Yeah, most of the time so far. Yeah. I would. But so if you're, because we're driving off local time, but if you're driving like you're an LA tourist and you're going home on a Sunday, it's no longer a three to four hour drive. Forever, dude. It's like six hours, I've five and a half minutes. Long time ago, I went here on uh, Labor Day, came, went home on Sunday. It was like an eight hour drive. It was just yeah, traffic wow, from yeah. here all the way home. They've been trying to build that stupid train for a minute. You know, too. If, once they build that train, man. Um, I mean, I, I just read, here. I just keep reading articles every week that it's getting closer, getting closer. Yeah. This new thing happened with it. This new thing. They're just keep signing away. Dude, it's been like 20 years. Yeah, really? Like, once they, they're they're talking about out? something like that. Man. If that train comes out, I'm going to buy a car and leave, leave one car here and just take the train. Yeah. Yep. It'd be fast. So I need to buy a bigger house for you so you can leave a car here? Yeah. I'm just parking. Oh. Just, uh, Elon Musk should just build an underground train or something. Underground Tesla? No, I train. hate Tesla. He's only going to do a Tesla one. Yeah. No, stuff. just a train. How about yeah. an underground rocket? <laughs> I would like that. Get there in two seconds. Yeah. If we don't blow up and die. I mean, uh, I also think like uh, 
it's gonna ev- eventually affect the house prices even more yeah, right that's, that's the whole point like i'm telling you you should get invest yeah. now because all that's going to increase property value it's going to turn into uh, an investment uh city yeah because now when you have the train that the bullet train you know um it's like oh my my tenants uh the pipe is leaking. Well, I'm gonna hit the train. I'll be there in an hour. A tenant, and I'll fix or it for you, or vice versa, or the more people are gonna live here and work in uh, back in LA. Yep, take no, the train. True. Yeah. yeah, they'll live here for cheap, and then they'll take the train to work. Yeah, it's like those articles you see of what is it? People from New York who fly every day to school, but they yeah, live in a different that. state. What? I heard about that. They yeah. fly every day Those to rich school. Yeah. yeah, fly every day or they fly to work. Yeah. And so they wake up at 5 a.m. and they're flying. It's not, it's not unheard of. I have. Uh, I, I remember my, my wife's old company. Yeah. Her boss drove from San Diego to Orange County every day for work. So you get paid enough, people would do it. Yeah. But no, but that train, how long is it supposed to take? Like distance wise. One take, hour. Dude. Yeah, I think an hour. That would be insane. I would live here and work down, work in LA. And then come the same day. Just go to work. It's like, that's an hour in traffic sitting in L- LA, dude. Yeah, yeah, so worth. It. That'd be tight. Bro. That'd be sick. I mean, it's kind of like a flight, no? Yeah, yeah, it's a flight. It's, it's a flight, like, but better it, than a flight. It's faster. Yeah, because you have to worry take off, landing, security. Security should be easier. Yeah, you know, uh, you don't have to wait. Delays, as long. flight delays. Yeah, weather delays. At the airport, you're like two hours waiting, right? But for a train, you probably oh. get there within the hour. Yeah. I'm always airplane when I come. I just take, be there at the airport an hour, two hours early. Damn, that'd be crazy. Imagine if it was like a whole system in, in the whole US. That'd be dope. That would be sick. I mean, they have those now. They're promoting like, uh, I think I saw on Groupon, they're promoting uh, train rides, scenic train ride routes. From like Vegas to Colorado or something, Whoa. you know, it takes like yeah, a, maybe it's like a, it's like a three day trip or something. Oh damn! Because it goes like forty miles per hour, you know. Yeah. Forty like, miles per hour. Yeah, that would know, take forever. Like I'm like, damn. A maybe train? Like, uh, maybe sixty miles per hour. I don't maybe know. That sounds a little better. It's not that. Fast. I don't know how fast trains go. Like a normal train, bro. Sixty miles per hour for a train. Well, that's, that's fast, isn't it? When Is you're it? When you're driving on the freeway and you see a train, you're always beating the train. Yeah, right? it has to, so. yeah, it has to be slower than that. Because true, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna look that up later. All right. Well, uh, let us know what you guys think about all these businesses moving over to Vegas. Um, and if you want to move a business over here, I'll hook you with a commercial agent. Let me know. Uh, and hope you guys enjoy this podcast. Next one up is gonna be tiktok rundown and if you guys haven't seen it you got to catch it it's where we talk about uh all these tiktok videos that we'll watch together with you guys and we're going to see if they are going viral with information they're doing on the video or if it's actually real information they're telling the truth so catch that on the next episode on the next win